hi guys welcome to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design christmas party flyer so let's get started in photoshop so the first thing now go to your new then i'm going to use a5 paper size here then take note of the numbers here then make sure your resolution is 300 then you click on great here is our working background now and these are the tests i'm going to use and the color code hue and saturation everything is made here so the first thing i'm going to copy the color code then go to your gradient then you click on it to open select your color Ctrl plus V to paste, then you click OK, then enter the location. So the location are these ones you see with open and close brackets. So Ctrl plus C to copy, then go back again, then you click over here, then paste, then import the location. Then the last one, then go back to copy your color code. Take note of the location. The location is 100%. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now go to your opacity. Then make it 100%. Then you click OK. Then you click OK. Then import this background. Go to your blending mode. Select luminosity. You can see the changes here. Then bring this ball. So take note of this number. This is hue and saturation. Then enter Ctrl plus U to have your hue and saturation. Then I'm going to enter this number here. Then leave this one at zero. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Reduce the size. It's so like this. Then duplicate it again, Ctrl plus J, and position it here. Then I'm going to import this sharpen. Position it well. So you can download it from Google. Then change it to luminosity. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity. Then the opacity is 75%. Then I will reduce it to 75%. Then I'm going to import this flower leaf. Reduce the size. Then I'll position it here. Reduce it again. Then I'm going to bring it down. Then I'll duplicate it. Then expand this one a little.
All right. So arrange it the way you want and make sure that it's okay. Then I'm going to bring this shiny effect. So I'm going to position it within this area. Then you can position it the way you want it. Either you like it, you can expand it or reduce it. Or it's okay like this. Then I'm going to bring this one down. Then reduce the size. Then I'll position it at the top of this ball. Now press Ctrl plus U again. Then I take note of this code number. Then input it in your hue and saturation. Then I'll leave this one like this. Then OK. You can see the changes now. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Then position it somewhere here. It's okay. Then I'm duplicate it again. Control plus J to duplicate. Then I'll position this one over here. Then I'll duplicate it again and position it around here. So you can apply your own as you want. But for now, I think this is okay for me. Then I'm going to group this one as my background okay so we are done with that one now i'm going to copy my text so these are the fonts i'm using in this tutorial ctrl plus c to copy then select your text tool or you press t using the keyboard And control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font color to red, but I will make it a little darker. Okay. Then I'm going to close the character space a little, then change the font. So the name of this font, all the fonts will be included in the description, so you can make use of it. Control plus V. Then scale it out. Okay, so I'm going to apply a blending option.
so you can see so i don't have to change anything here because everything i have already made it here before so and it's the same thing i'm using so i'm not going to change it and here are the color code for this color apply on the test there so you can change this font to miraculous and christmas i will leave the font name in the description so you can download them and make use of it then draw a rectangle around here then apply white outline color Then you change the fonts and the boldness. Then close the character space. Then change the font color to this one. Then reduce the font size. Then you drag it inside. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to white. Then make it bold. Then increase the font size. Then I'm going to select it to adjust it. Increase it. Then also apply adjustment to this one. Then scale it out to increase the font size. All right. Now I'm going to copy my date. Then select your rent angle. Then I'm going to draw a rent angle around here. Remove the fill color. Then apply stroke color. Then make it 3%. Just like the way we did to the first one. Then change the background color to white. Then go to the font and change the font. Reduce the font size. Then you bring it over here. Then come over to your test again and copy this one. 
Then you duplicate this one. Then use your mouse to bring it forward. And select it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the font size. And I'm going to draw a line here. Then I will duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then drag it above here. Then move it over here. Then come over here to copy your 2022. Select it, highlight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font boldness. All right. Then you select this one while you use your arrow key then to move it backward. Now I'm going to copy my test again. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test to or you press T using your keyboard. Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to reduce this one. So like okay this. Then adjust it. Then it's now hold your shift key then you drag it up then hold your shift key while you select it then ctrl plus j to duplicate it position it around the end Then I'm going to select my ellipse tool. Then I'll draw a little cycle here. Then select this text. Then come over here to copy your text. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. All right, then I'm going to select this one, then reduce the font size. Then I'll leave it like this. Now select your location, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then you highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size. Okay, now I 
then apply vertical alignment all right so as you can see that is all about the tutorial and in case you want to change the christmas font then the font is in the description you can change it to miraculous and christmas so the font there is there in the description so the last thing to do now is to group it and rename it so thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe the like and share to your friends if you love this video so that is all thank you so much don't forget to subscribe